so everybody's doing the car video recording thing um, and then they're posting it so I wanted to try it. This is the first one so congratulations guys. Um, and I've worn all purple for the occasion in true Rachel fashion. Um, so I just wanted to talk about something that I just saw happen at the park. There was a woman, so I'm waiting for the group class to start. Um, there's a woman, she was walking her dog around and she had, um, excuse you buddy, my goodness. He doesn't even care. He's so sick of me talking to myself. Um, so she was walking her dog around and I think that the dog must have not reacted to something that the dog had previously reacted at. And so she went to reward her dog and I caught the glimpse of it. Their car's in the way, but I caught kind of the tail end of it. And um, she seemed really happy. Like she seemed happy that the dog didn't do anything. It was a little Australian Shepherd. She seemed happy that the dog didn't do anything, which I'm guessing it probably was react previously reactive to stuff or whatever. Um, but she went to go reward the dog. Um, dog's on a flexi lead and harness. She locks the flexi lead. She said yes or good or so. I don't, I don't hear. Um, but she had a treat in her hand and the dog was looking away from her and she stepped closer to the dog and the dog was still looking away from her. And then she stepped a little bit closer with her hand, like trying to give the dog the food. Um, and then the dog, you know, just wasn't even paying attention to her. And then, um, she tried, she walked to it like three times. And then on the fourth time she tossed, tossed the, um, treat in the grass in front of the dog and finally then the dog was like oh okay I'm kind of interested because something moved in the grass um went over I don't think the dog actually took the treat even then um but one thing that I wanted to point out which I see a lot of owners doing which I'm like you know so happy she's out walking her dog and working her dog um but chasing your guys's dog's face around to try to give him food is not something that we want to do so if we mark something, so I use good, so good, if the dog doesn't snap their attention back to me or if they're not already looking at me, um, I'm not going to give them the reward. So I see a lot of you, I see a lot of owners do this, is they're chasing their dog's face around with food. Um, don't do that. If your dog does not look right at you, um, don't feed them. They miss the opportunity. Um, the reason that we do that is because if I'm having to chase their face around for food, they're not interested. The reward doesn't mean anything. Um, and then you're rewarding the distraction at that point. So the dog is looking at something and then you're, you know, trying to shove food down their face. So they're already distracted. Like, why, why are we giving the dog food? They're not paying attention to us. We're only rewarding for dogs paying attention to us. Okay. Um, so that, that kind of, that kind of sets like the training tone, I think for a lot of people. Um, is this is why our dogs ignore us because we're actually training our dogs to ignore us you know they turn away and then we try to get food down their throat um don't take it personally if your dog um if your dog is not taking food from you and you mark it and they don't take the food from you don't take it personally your dog still cares about you your dog still loves you um it's not anything against you they might just not want the freaking food at that point okay this is why we need to find rewards that our dogs find rewarding and that our dogs want um food is a great one um toys are a great one or praise or just petting um so it doesn't always have to be food and with that dog that dog was not interested just wanted to be left alone so even leaving the dog alone and turning the pressure off of the dog is a reward enough for most dogs um i'll do that when i've got a dog in training that's completely shutting down over everything um just like me backing off if the dog does something that i want and me just backing off of the dog um and releasing that pressure is enough of a reward where the dog is like okay cool i have control over my life so that's all i'm going to talk about today guys until next time